Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can connect multiple databases with the Laravel. Usually we use only one database, but sometimes we need to use the multiple uh, databases with our project. So I have the two databases here. One is the blog and another one is uh, YouTube. So uh, we will just fetch the data from both of these databases. And these are the steps. First of all, we need to just add some database configuration for both uh, databases. Then we will make the controller and model and uh, we will fetch the data from the both tables, both databases with the two way one with the query builder and second one with the model. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. So now, first of all, let's jump on the .env file. So you will find that we already uh, configure our one database with the name of blog, right? And this belong to the this blog database. So let's say I just want to add one more database so that I can just copy this all these uh, block of properties and I can just define the second or the another property like uh, second MySQL connection, right? Uh, and just use this property with all uh, these uh, host name and pro ports and uh, database name and all so just change the name of the or properties like this you can put any name it's not mandatory that you need only just put here second or third uh, you can just write here your uh, db connection underscore youtube because uh, our uh, database name is YouTube for the second or XYZ whatever you want and just put here YouTube database name and uh, my username and password is same in your case if uh, these are the also different then you can just put the different credentials right after that let's jump on the config folder and let's open the database dot uh, PHP file here you will find that there is a lots of connection as are done for MySQL and PZ MySQL SQL server and all. So just uh, copy this SQL server connection and let's make another one, right? So I'm just going to put here SQL connection two for a moment and let's add these properties uh, because uh, we are now getting these all the database name, password and from the, from the DB host and the second property, right? So just add here second. Let me copy it and just paste it here. Second database, second username and second password. We don't need to add this uh, socket for the second database because we are not using the socket for a moment, right? And after that, keep in mind that just restart your uh, uh, PHP artisan command right so now let's uh, check your uh, uh, project is it working fine or not this is working fine and uh, let's create a controller so just write here PHP artisan make controller my controller name will be belongs to the product table so I am just going to put here product controller hit enter and we got a new controller controller inside the app HTTP controller and here and let's make a function inside it function let's say my function name is index and return for a moment hello so that we can just check that uh, routing and everything is working fine or not right so now let's go for the routing in routers web.php import our uh, product model here with the app http controller and controller name path so just use here app http controller and controllers basically and then we can just uh, sorry we can just use here product controller right and now let's make a route for it 
and close it with the semicolon route get let's use a get method and my route name is list and in the second parameter test take an array and just provide the first value with your product name and in the second let's use the function name that you made inside the uh, controller and let's close it with the semicolon great now let's check this is working fine or not with the list url this is working fine so now i am just going to fetch the data from this device table first of all then we will fetch this the uh, data from the another table so let's um, come back to here and just import the database because we are using the query builder here right so just right here use illuminate illuminate and support facade and then db right and just simply write here db colon colon all ah sorry colon colon it, this is not model actually so we just need to write here uh, table and my table name is devices and uh, let's use the get method here and now let's see what we got here right we got uh, okay this my table name is devices not device so now you can see that we got the data or four record of the data id 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, here you can see that we have a four id only so now let's try to fetch the data from the product table so now just put here product products basically and uh, refresh it but now you have an error that block dot product table does not exist because uh, in the block table we don't have product table or product uh, block database don't have the uh, product table that's why because uh, this is exist in the YouTube database so now let's uh, we need to just define here that we are just want to fetch the data from the YouTube and YouTube database is defined in the SQL2 connection right so what we need to do here just simply write here connection with single T and uh, just use here MySQL and now we can use this now let's try what we are getting from it now we are getting the data from the product table also right that's great all right so this is a one way that uh, we are we are actually use the query builder so how we can get the data from the model so let's make it comment it out and i already have um, the devices model here so first of all let's try with the device model that how we can fetch the data from it so just try to use here use app and uh, model then um, <coughs> put here device our model name and let's simply return here return device colon colon all and we can get the data from this table right uh, device table so now let's create the model for product table php artisan make model and uh, my model name is product right hit enter now let's uh, you can see that we got a product model here so let's uh, just import it my bad product and now let's tr whenever we are fetching the data still we will get the same error that the table does not exist here you can see that right so what we can do in that time we don't need to just use the connection like this so for that let's go to the model and let's define other property public property actually public dollar connection and here you can just provide our the database connection name which is mysql2 right so just simply write here 
mysql2 here and now let's try to fetch the data and we are able to get the data so this is the way that how we can get the data from the multiple databases if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box there is lots of question that we covered here like how we can define the properties for the uh, second database and how we can get the data from the second database with the query builder with the model and now my question is can we apply the joins or uh, relations between two databases as we defined in the laravel so if this is possible then please comment me in the comment box if not possible then just again tell me that why this is not possible in the comment box god bless you and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video